What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another Top 100 Foot Champs Rewards. It's a terrible week for Foot Champs this week in terms of informs. There's only three really high-valued informs, Salah, Mbappe, and Mats Hummels. There's some okay medium-range dudes worth 40 or 50k, but there's so many bottom feeders out there today. But we are on the accounts again of XL Shane and Lewis H. And if you want to check these dudes out, their links will be in the description below. Appreciate them offering me the opportunity to open up the rewards for them. So outside of a left back for Shane, whose account we're on first, did he mention anything about his team? No, he didn't. Um, so aside from a left back, this is the team that he would have used last year. Now, he could have used any left back at all. If I remember correctly, he was using Jordi Alba as his, uh, as his fullback in previous... Um, in previous weekend leagues. So he's got Handanovic in there, Carl Walker with a lot of games, a brand new Marcel Desailly, and that card looks fantastic. Uh, a Rio Ferdinand 88 that also looks fantastic. What a centre-back pairing that is. He's got Hernandez, a uh, prime icon, that 27 games, 11 goals, 5 assists. I wonder if he actually uses him in midfield. No, he's got a Hunter on him. That's weird that he's got so few goals on him. Neymar there as well. Uh, in the team, Patrick Vieira, 140 games on him. What a team this is. Messi there with a great return. Rude Hullet at striker, 50 games, 48 goals and 31 assists. And Cristiano Ronaldo with a sensational return. That, guys, is one of the best teams we've looked at so far. On the bench, Prime Ronaldo, Mbappe, Bakayoko, and Mane, Dembele and Red Gabriel Jesus sitting on the reserve so that is the team that he would have used there or thereabouts i don't know what he would have gone into to actually change in game but man i hope i get a team like that eventually as well my road to glory because it will help me get elite one more often than not but guys before we get into these rewards if we could drop a thumbs up on the video it would be very much appreciated so uh, xl shane this week finished 60th in the world a sensational return. One ultimate team of the week pack. Three 100k packs and a hundred and... What was that? 125,000 coins. What a return to get from the uh, from from the top 100. Now, my 100k pack luck hasn't always been the best. I'm ne I've never packed an icon outside of... Uh, oh, wow. There's not even a shine on this pack. Yay. I've never packed an icon outside of... Oh, is that going to be Tyson? He is 82 rated, so there could be some decent players in here. Uh, yeah, I've never packed an icon outside of the guaranteed icon monthly rewards. So hopefully we can change that today. I would love to pack an icon in one of these packs. We're going to get ourselves Ruiz, Albiol. There's a good, some good 82s here. Kovacic, Trap, Tyson, Albiol and Ruiz. Uh, Keen is only worth a thousand or so coins, but not a bad player. Anyone in the duplicates? No one at all. So we'll send all of those to the transfer list and open Jumbo Rare Players Pack number two. Come on, EA, hook us up. There we go. We get a shine. That's more like it. Who's it going to be? Italian. Centre-back. Benucci. Benucci. Walk out. Let's go. That's solid. I don't know how much Benucci goes for. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look on the market. With the current market crash, I can't imagine he's insane amounts of money. Um, but probably still in the 30 to 50k mark, I uh, guess. An 88 rated Benucci in a pack. Very nice indeed. We also get mm, Schneider and Juan Fran are okay. Nathaniel Klein is a couple of K. Wayne Rooney is like 1K. I mean, other than Benucci, this is a pretty dead pack. Not a single duplicate. Hey, Benucci is solid. Benucci is a really, really good pull. Let's pop him down. I do want to have a look at how much uh, roughly Benucci is going for. So if we compare his price... Yeah, we're looking at 30 to 40k. That's not bad. That's not bad. For, for the state of the 100k packs right now in FIFA, that's not bad. Here we go with 100k pack number three. No shine again. That's insane. That's two out of three 100k packs with no shine. It's going to be Asabi. He's another 82. So we could still have Bellerin, Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, uh, the likes of those that have some good value. We get Lucas, Fernandinho is not bad. I mean, there's some actually all right players here. Again, some good 82s. Um, but not, I mean, that's again another pretty tragic pack, isn't it? That could, that could have been better, guys. That could have been better. We get a couple of duplicates in the back end there 
for this one. And then last but not least, guys, we are looking for Hummels, Mbappe, Salah. Any two out of those three would be phenomenal. Any less than two out of those three will be a bust. Who's it going to be? There's that beautiful white flare. Come on, be German. French! Don't be Tovan! No! Oh! This is a top 100 pack. So there is no Mbappe. There is no Salah. And there is no Hummels. That is brutal. That is brutal. I mean, that's bad, guys. That is bad. 16k discard. I don't know how much Sansone. Origi's worth a little bit. It's actually. How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel but straight away this is no ordinary review. We have collaborated with One Football, the app, to bring you this review. So I just want to say a massive thank you to them and thank you to you because I've always wanted to get kind of a, an app involved with this series so we can kind of compare real life to the game and see why it does get this info, why it does get that info, etc, etc. Now we can do that. So massive, massive thanks to you guys for supporting the videos. And once again, if you do enjoy, lads, smash your like in it. Let's try and blast 1,000 likes on this review I know you can do that and if you do want any cheap MSP PSN even game codes head on over to g2a.com use that code m89 every single link that you will need is right there in the description below so as you can see today we have Kylian Mbappe of Paris Saint-Germain formerly of Monaco the golden boy he won the golden boy award and we've got him in this squad now he is a right wing or right forward he comes out of packs as a right winger I was quite disappointed with that. I wanted to see him as a striker, but as you'll see in a few seconds, he played right wing. And uh, yeah, he does get this right wing version. But what I will say is this app is amazing. It really is. It, it goes into depth. You can get scores. You can get news. You can follow players. You can get everything you need from this one app. And like I said, I've been using this app for bloody ages. So it's great to see this app kind of come to me to kind of collaborate on this series with you guys to share you even more information. Uh, look at the top stats from League Earn. It's great. Four goals, four assists in nine out of 12 games that he has played. Shot accuracy is 62% and the pass accuracy was 81. Why did he get this info? He scored once. He assisted Cavani for the first goal that Cavani did score in this match. He actually scored two, so he was in line for this info. But uh, Mbappe got it because Mbappe did get another goal. And of course, Cavani, I'm sure he was in form last week. So that's why you don't get back-to-back -back informs. And as you can see on screen, he did play right wing, unfortunately for us on FIFA. But he was great for Paris Saint-Germain in real life, as did demolished Angers. And as you can see, you get news. You get a lot of news. You can get notifications. You can get absolutely everything on this app. I fully recommend you do download it. And um, yeah, the link is right there in the description below. So without any further ado, let's see what he's like in game. So here we go then, lads, and what he is like in game. He's bloody expensive, I'll tell you that much for free. 740k is what I did pay. I've lost over 200k already. I mean, I must be bloody nuts doing this review for you guys, but I wanted to get it out tonight. He's a high player. He's a player I love on this game. And unfortunately, as a right forward, as a right winger, he didn't really get involved in the games. He scored 7 in 6. Now, that's no detriment to his finishing or anything like that. He just didn't get involved enough to score more goals. He did get one assist as well. Lovely assist to Youngmin Sauna in a clip where it was very, very laggy. So, it was very hard to do. He's got 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. He's got high to medium work rates. And he's got stats like this. Acceleration, 90. Sprint speed, 92. Meaning with a chem style, it'll go up to like 99.99. That's why I've got a Hunter on him to boost that pace, even though it's very high already. But mainly to boost the long shots because... They were trash. I'm not going to lie to you. They were terrible. And you will see that in the gameplay. 70 long shots. Finishing is great. At 90. Look at the dribbling. Look at the stats. 80 agility. 81 reactions. Ball control, which is one of his main stats and one of his main ingredients. It's 90. Dribbling, 89. And composure, which is very important to the card. 82. And stamina as well. 
of 85. Now, what is he like in game? He's like a whip that he moves all the time. He's always on the go, but unfortunately, I had to switch him a striker in a few games. Now, this is what you're going to do with the card, and I'll tell you straight away. Now, this isn't an instruction telling me, telling you what to do or anything like that. It's what you want to do. You want to start him at right forward. You want to move him to striker. Once the game kicks off, change formation, stick him at striker. He's a world beater. He really, really is. Deeper in the field when you play right forward and you arrive late into the area or anything like that and you've got a chance from long range, Mbappe is going to have the chance and unfortunately his long shots just aren't good enough, lads. I've tried so many long shots. That's probably why I didn't score as many goals. I had chances outside the area. I was blasting them. The keeper was saving them. Repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. It just wouldn't go in. I tried my best to score long shots with this card. Maybe I'd score the odd one here and there, but it was a fluke. It really, really was. Because it's very, very hard to score long shots with Kylian Mbappe. Maybe you guys have different look. Maybe you have like different angles. Maybe a sweet spot that you can strike from. Normally, my sweet spot is like this area. So that was a nice uh, low driven finesse in the bottom corner. That's what he does give you. Composure one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And the finishing. It's unbelievable. And you can imagine that. It's 90 finishing with a Hunter Kem style. It'll probably go even higher. That's uh, me assuming that anyway. Is. But inside the area, this guy is as deadly as they come. That's why I'm saying, play him striker. He will do the job over any other striker on this game. Whether it be a bloody an icon, whether it be another inform, whether it be the top range like Suarez. Mbappe is the real deal. And I've noticed this on his normal card as well. Because I used him in the weekend league. I did get a lead with Mbappe at striker. And I preferred Mbappe over the likes of uh, Hernandez from time to time. And that was um, during the four-star, four-star. Very important with the card, the four-star combo, because not only can he hit it with his right, which is preferred foot, he can hit it with his left as well, which is very important to the card. And of course, he can skill. He can skill to his heart's content, because he's got the four-star skills. And he's a great skill on this game, because not only is his agility quite high at 80, it's, I mean, it's not like 85 plus, which I normally look for, but it is quite high. The balance, again, isn't great. At the same time, his ball control, Wow.